shit. I was watching that. Angela, what the hell? Why are you sitting here in the dark? I couldn't help but notice how cold your side of the bed was. Where have you been? Just had a few drinks with the guys from work. Do you want to get a kiss? And which one of the guys at work wears women's perfume? Hey, hey, hey. Angela, would you cut the bullshit out? Call me a stupid bitch. Call me a stupid bitch! Angela. Cause you must think that I'm the stupidest bitch alive if you think I'm gonna put up with hey, this hey, shit hey, anymore! Hey, hey, will you fucking calm down? You're paranoid. I'm fucking sick and tired of it. Sort of bother you, but um, my car broke down just up the road there, and I was wondering if uh, I might be able to use your phone. Wow, <laughs> I'd be glad to accommodate you, uh, Marcus. Uh, Marcus, of course, Marcus. But unfortunately, all phone lines are down in the area due to an electrical storm last night. Electrical storm? Indeed. Yeah, it was, a, it was a bad night, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, sorry about it. Uh, well, you can very well go to sleep in your car now, can you? You can stay for the night, and in the morning, I will be able to drive you to town to find a mechanic. Oh, no, I, I couldn't impose like that. No, 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 no. There would be no imposition, you see. I currently have numbers of guys staying the weekend for a celebration of sort, and I have more than enough rooms to accommodate. My name is Sophie. I'm afraid you just caught us at the tail end of dinner. My dear friends, please allow me to introduce a fellow traveler on his fair road of life. Recently caught in peril due to... What was it again? Uh, well, motor trouble. Oh, motor trouble. <laughs> Marcus, here we have Isabella. Hola, Marcus. To her right, Antoine. Buenas noches, mi amigo. Ingrid. Hello, Marcus. And on the end, so the legendary trashing a cup of wine, we have Lawrence. Marcus, is it? Marcus, won't you have a seat? My friends, excuse me while I prepare a room for our guest to lay his tired bones down for a night. So, Marcus, what brings you to our nick of the woods at this time of night? Well, I'm not, not really sure. A bit of a joy right, I suppose. To clear one's head? Well, that and an unfortunate investment, I'm afraid. That is a 57 Chevy with a block of rust where the engine should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught my hand on the radiator while I was trying to fix the car. It's just a little cut. Uh, 
how about yourselves? Sophie mentioned that you're all here for some sort of uh, celebration. What are you guys celebrating? Death. A death. A death? You'll have to excuse the tactless approach of my associate, Marcus. You see, Lawrence here lacks many of the social graces that are requested by a civilized society. Am I wrong, Ingrid? You may not be wrong, but that's not to say that your particular brand of social conduct would be what one would consider to be, shall we say, expected from a gentleman of your social standing. <laughs> Bite me, darling. Friends, please. Not in front of our guest. I must apologize, Marcus. You seem to have caught us at a particularly disheartening time. You see, we have all lost someone very near and dear to us. And this celebration of sorts is a wake. A, a wake? A wake. Who's awake? No, Marcus. It must be the dream. This is a wake. Sorry. Are you? Does, any, does anyone know if there's a band-aid or a first aid kit around here? Of course. It's in the bathroom. Down the hall. Seventh door on your right. you might have gotten yourself lost. Not me. <laughs> so like, uh, what's your deal? Are you, uh, you spend the night? Why don't you wait and see? Can I get in there now? Oh, yeah, sorry. Can we help you, sir? Provide you with some assistance. Just getting a band-aid. Marcus? Did you find what you're looking for? Yeah, this house, it has more rooms than a hotel. If you're alone? Not really. There is never any shortage of wayward travelers that find their way to my doorstep. Are you sure you're okay? Come, Marcus. I will show you to your room. Okay. 
here you go. This is your room. Your bed should be perfectly suited for you. And there we have fresh towel on the dresser. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Rest peacefully. I knew it was you. <laughs> Did you? Know? And what makes you so sure?
this is awake. You've been dead a long time, Marcus. But you've come so far. Accept it, Marcus. really sick of this guy. Oh, here we go again. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, swear to bother you, but you Your car broke down. Yeah. And you want to use my phone, don't you? I want to come in.